We're on the York Peninsula. We're generally in a weak lentil rotation with barley thrown in there at times. The lentil's probably controlling the rotation around the place. Broadleaf weeds in the lentils has been a really big issue. The introduction of the Imi Tolerant Lentil gave us a little bit more time, but that's starting to fade a little bit with the continual use of Imi products. We're starting to get some of those broadleaf weeds get through, in particular Bifora and milk thistles and prickly lettuces. Treflin was probably done a long time ago on the York Peninsula. You know, Clethodim and Butroxidim are starting to see sort of reasonable levels of resistance in certain paddocks. I don't think there's any farmer that thinks they've got on top of their ryegrass levels, really. We got a bit of overwatch to work with in trials a couple of years prior to release. Bifora is a big part of the program and, and the level of control we're getting on Bifora is absolutely magical with overwatch and the milk thistle prickly lettuce is really great control as well there was no issue in any of the wheat crops and most people are really happy to have a crack at it again it's just sort of a really a no-brainer for them so guys with reasonable bifora levels will just keep ticking it in the system i think they're turning pink and the bleaching of the whites have actually been a a real plus for farmers because overwatch is one of those products you actually see how much ryegrass is germinating you go yeah, crikey, this is doing a reasonable job out there. The, the resistance is always going to be there if you keep putting out herbicides or fungicides, but you know we're just trying to slow that train as much as we can, and, and having an extra group makes a massive difference. Having that overwatch out there for the for the bifora and the broadleaf weed control that we've been battling with, yeah, it's going to be beneficial for the region for sure.